Have you ever looked at a Bitcoin transaction on a blockchain explorer and wondered why the heck the numbers never actually match up? I was supposed to receive 0 0.014 Bitcoin, but what's this all about 0 0.082? That makes no sense. In this episode, we're going to explain what exactly is going into this and why Bitcoin transactions look like this, as well as offer an example on how you can actually show a proper transaction receipt for a blockchain transaction that shows the actual amount of Bitcoin that was transferred. But before we do that, I want to remind you to like and subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel. We do a lot of great tutorials and other fun videos, so thank you very much for subscribing. So I'm here on uh, this blockchain explorer, and this is looking at a transaction that I recently did. I sent about 0 0.014 Bitcoin to another person. But you can see here that actually 0 0.082 Bitcoin left my wallet. Why is that? Well, this is, the, is, this is the inputs and outputs of a transaction. When Bitcoin is sent to a wallet, you aren't actually splitting up the amount of Bitcoin exactly that you want to send to the other wallet. Instead, you are sending an entire output and then that output is getting split up with part of that, the amount of money that you want to send, being sent to the other wallet, and part of that being actually sent back to your own wallet as a new input. So you can see here, if I turn this into USD, this output was actually $4,500. But when I sent, I obviously only wanted to send $797. And so therefore, it split the output into two inputs one that's going to the wallet that I wanted to send it to, and one that is going to the wallet that is my own, my own wallet sending back to me. And then this output or input can actually be sent as a new output later on. And then, of course, you have the fee down here. But this kind of view doesn't really help if you're trying to show somebody that a transaction was completed and how much that transaction was for. But there are a few tools that can help you out with, such as Blockonomics. In order to do that, I might take the wallet here that I'm sending to and head over to the Blockonomics website and paste it in here at the Bitcoins and addresses zone. This will then show me the wallet and I can click on View Transactions and scroll down and you can see that I have the transaction right here. I can click on it and it will bring me up the receipt and you can see that it does properly show exactly the amount of Bitcoin that I was trying to send to the other person. Now, if of course, if I need more details, I can click on the View Details and look at some more. But that number is explained clearly at the front. That is important to remember if you need to send a receipt. Using a tool like Blockonomics might be useful because then it doesn't confuse people about what is an input and what is an output. And instead just clearly says, you, I am sending 0 0.014 Bitcoin and it has been confirmed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was useful and uh, make sure to check out the Blockonomics website so that you can create your own transaction receipts on the blockchain and thank you for liking and subscribing.